Hi, I'm Janine of Janine's California Bodies. Welcome to the June 2016 Ab Challenge. Congratulations to all of you who completed successfully the May 2016 Challenge. We're ready to move on. This month's challenge is going to include some combinations and progressions. Please remember, I'll always give some options for you. So if a particular exercise is too difficult for you to perform in the proper form, please select one of the options. And I promise by the end of the 30 days, you will be doing all the exercises properly with the new strength you have found. So let's do this. This first exercise is considered a warm up to activate your core, get blood and fluid moving into the core area. So we're going to start with a basic crunch. Um, we'll do it for 30 seconds and um, it's not really included in the 10 minute challenge. It is your warm up. Excuse me little Mr. Man. I would like to do my basic crunch. So I want you lying on your back imprinting that spine into the mat. Knees bent, feet flat. You can start with your hands crossed over your chest, option one, or hands behind the head, option two. Lift your shoulders up off the ground, tilt your chin, never pull on your head and neck. As you lift your shoulders off the ground, exhale, so you are contracting the deepest, the transverse, the deepest of the abdominal muscles. So let's come on up and begin 30 seconds of our warm up. The next exercise is the crossover crunch. You're gonna lie on your back again, knees bent, feet flat. Bring the left leg and cross it over the right thigh. Left arm is out at your side, palm down, and the right arm behind the head and neck. I'm going to aim my right elbow towards the left knee and return without dropping my shoulders down. So 30 seconds. We're going to progress right into the basic crunch with our leg lift in the crossover position. So as you come up in your crunch, lift the leg up off the floor and return. Complete the next series on the other leg with both the crossover crunch followed by the basic crunch leg lift. 30 seconds of each. Our next exercise is the starfish crunch. So I want you to lie on your back, again imprinting that spine, no air between your spine and the floor. And you're going to come up and touch the right arm to the left leg and return. Alternating sides option is a knee lift instead of a straight leg so Ooh. here we go repeat round one one more time knee ups are next Go ahead and lie all the way down, imprinting that back in, arms extended overhead, knees bent, feet flat, and you're going to come up and bring your knees towards your chest, reach back overhead. Next is the straight leg V up. Remember, if you have any pain or discomfort in your back or it's a little too challenging, repeat the knee in exercise previously demonstrated. So we're gonna lay down, fully extend this time, imprinting that back in, and we're gonna come up. Whoa, yeah, and all the way back down. Next is our straight leg circles. 
So you're going to lie all the way down, extend your legs up. Now how high you have your legs is going to depend on the contact with your spine into the floor. So if you're here with your leg circles, that's fine. You're still working those core muscles. A little stronger, you're going to be here. Or maybe all the way down here. All right, I'm gonna grab a little bit of water, have my water handy here, so I'm sure your water is close by. Getting ready for our sit up to plank to mountain climber combination. What? Let me show you. Arms and legs are out. You're gonna imprint that back in. Sit up, roll over into your high plank for mountain climbers. Roll back down and roll up over into your high plank for mountain climbers. And back down. Options. Curl up. Come over to your high plank four times and back down. Again, it's curl up. Roll over to your high plank for mountain climbers. Again, pick the option which is appropriate for you. Next is our reverse plank. Leg lifts or knee lifts is another option. So your hands are behind your hips, fingertips facing towards the hips. Feet flat on the ground, knees bent. Come up and find your reverse plank. So your hips should be in line with your knees and your chest not dropping down below that plank line. So come on up and we're gonna lift straight legs alternating. Or knee in. Again, that straight leg. I want to make sure my hips weren't dropping. All right, we've got another combination. It is a low plank to a pike with hip taps. What? Let me show you. Excuse me, little Mr. Man. Thank you. Low plank, your hands are apart, fingertips wide, shoulders in line with your elbows. Come on up and find your low plank. Drive your shoulders away from the ears. Posterior tilt, glutes tight. You're gonna come up to a pike. Tap your hip back down to your plank. Drop those shoulders down. Up to your pike, tap and down. Round three will be performed just once. Once is enough. There you have it, our June 2016 ab challenge. I challenge my boot camp and my clients to at least 21 days out of the 30 days. They work for prizes and most importantly, a stronger core. And you will have a stronger core as well. With consistency, you will have that strong core and it's not too late to get in shape for the summer. So all you have to do is take that first step. Begin today. You can find this ab challenge on my website www.california-body.com. Also remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and you'll receive every new ab challenge each month as they come up. So remember Stay fit tabulous.